Hello everyone. I hope all of you are enthusiastic to learn more about speed, distance and time. So the lesson objectives are we are learning to enhance mathematical basic skills knowledge. Also calculate speed, distance and time problems. Always aim high, be an independent inquirer and a reflective learner. Yesterday we just saw the units of speed, distance and time also about the triangle which will help you to calculate speed, distance or time. So the triangle has a T inside and D, S, T are written. Speed is equal to, so you cover S and C, speed is equal to D upon T, distance upon time. And time is equal to, if you cover T with your hands and see, time is equal to distance upon speed. And distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So always remember to make the triangle on a paper so that if you are calculating any one, the triangle will help you to write the correct formula. Here are some examples. We are going to do a few examples. Question A. Paula drove a distance of 270 miles in 5 hours. What was her average speed? So, which formula do we need? Speed is equal to. So, your first step will be speed is equal to distance upon time. You will write down that. After that, what is the distance? 270 divided by 5. So, miles and hours are corresponding units. So, you can use them and divide. You will get the answer 54. Remember to write the correct unit of speed. MPH miles per hour. Question B. Sarah drove from Sheffield to Pebbles in three and a half hours at an average speed of 60 MPH. How far is it from Sheffield to Pebbles? How far means it is asking you to find out the distance. So let's write down the distance formula. Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Now the speed is given as 60 and three and a half you can write as 3.5 or you can write it as an improper fraction and do the multiplication. Either way you will get answer 210 miles. Don't write the unit of speed here because you are calculating the distance. So please write the unit of distance which is miles in this case. Sian is going to drive from Newcastle upon time to Nottingham, a distance of 190 miles. He estimates that he will drive at an average speed of 50 mph. How long will it take him? So when it says how long, they are asking you to find the time. So time is equal to distance upon speed. The distance is given as 190 and the speed as 50. The units are corresponding units so you can do the division. And you will get the answer 3.8 hours, which is equal to 3 hours, 48 minutes. How the 48 minutes came? This 0.8 you multiply by 60 because 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. 0.8 multiplied by 60 will give you 48 minutes. Here are the questions for the classwork. The task questions are as classwork and the extension questions are as homework. There is a worksheet attached with the same questions. You can either pause the video or access to the worksheet and complete your work. Remember to use the correct unit and do the calculations carefully. I would ask you to do the self-evaluation about this topic. How well do you understand the task? In your copy, give the heading self-evaluation and do it.